like Bradley Manning, Barack Obama, their situation really spells out the history of the United States. The fantasy history of the United States is something like this. White people stole black people from Africa, brought them here, and then white people were evil, black people were good, the end. And now we're here. Now imagine what actually happened is um, Africans stole and enslaved Africans, sold them to Europeans. Europeans brought plenty of them to what is now called the United States. And in the United States, there were plenty was called house slaves that helped maintain slavery, were complicit in it. Plenty of black people were freed and actually bought slaves themselves. Some in order to free them, some just to keep the slaves. This is not to diminish what white people did, and it's not about that. What it is, is the system throughout the United States has been built and maintained on slavery and modern day slavery and all this. But it's not so simple as to say, white's bad, black's good. Take a look at Bradley Manning versus Barack Obama. Bradley Manning is white. He is in jail now for telling the truth. He's in jail now being tortured for sneaking the secret torture and murder by the United States government. This is not some all of the sudden this is how the system is. This is how the system is. There's a black president and a white guy in jail being tortured for being disobedient. And that's what it's always been in this culture. If you think otherwise, when is the point where all of a sudden, oh, we have a white indentured servant or just citizen, white indentured citizen, a black slave, the black slave is obedient, the white slave is not, but we just like white people, so we treat them better. Never happened. We have it now, black obedient president, president, obedient to the powers that be, white disobedient, lower class person. He's in jail being tortured. So simply, I wanted to point that out. Any of those who simplified into, you know, it's a white supremacy where white people get stuck. No, just because the people in charge are white doesn't mean white people are in charge. Obedient servants get treated well regardless of color. Disobedient servants get treated poorly. Anyone who tells you anything otherwise, tell them to consider the difference in treatment between the absolutely heroic Bradley Manning, a white guy, and the absolutely soulless, obedient Barack Obama.